Hey, nursing students, let's look at this nursing fundamentals question together. So which of these patients is in metabolic alkalosis? So let's remember, we do have to know our pH ranges, but also some of the wording in the, in the answers can give us a clue as to what our answer might be. So let's go through this together. So A is a vomiting patient who has a pH of 7.52. So if we have an alkalosis, we already know that our pH is going to be high, right? So 7.35 to 7.45 is our normal range. And right here we have a high pH, so that could possibly be one of our answers. Answer B is a COPD patient with a pH of 7.28. So two clues here, 7.28 is acidosis, so that's not alkalosis. And anybody with a respiratory issue with COPD, it's usually going to be a respiratory acidosis. Answer C is a patient with a blood sugar of 500 and a pH of 7.3. 7.3, once again, is going to be another acidotic state, so that's not going to be alkalosis. We're going to cross that off. D is a hyperventilating patient with a pH of 7.49. So automatically, we obviously can tell that this is alkalosis, but we're looking for metabolic. So if we have a patient who is hyperventilating, the cause of this pH is going to be related more to a respiratory cause. So we can go back and look at our wording here. A vomiting patient with a pH of 7.52 is likely going to be a metabolic alkalosis.